Getting those invoices out the door as, as soon as you've shipped your goods or um, done the work that you've been um, engaged to do means the quicker you get that out, the quicker you're going to get paid. So having an effective way of, and quick way of doing that is really key for business owners. So from zero, there's three ways to raise an invoice. You can use this plus button up here and click on invoice. You can, from this invoice is owed to you dashboard widget, you can click on new sales invoice or you can also do business and invoices to take you through to the invoicing section where you then click on a new invoice. You simply then type in your customer name. So if you've already got them set up as a contact, then they'll be there already. Um, if you haven't, you can just add in their name and it'll ask you to put in their email address when you come to send it. Um, and as a minimum, you'll need their company name and email address to be able to send an invoice. It'll always default to today's date to raise and send the invoice. If you've got your standard terms set up in settings, then it'll automatically populate the due date, which you can then change if need be, or you can just pop in whatever it is that your terms are. It'll automatically give you an invoice number, so you don't need to worry about that, and it'll just use the next consecutive number. And then for a reference, you can put in anything you like. It could be like a job number. Um, it could be the client's purchase order number if they've got one. Um, or you can leave it blank if it's not necessary. Um, the branding will default to standard or whatever your default brand is. Um, and that's covered in a different uh, video. You then pop in your description quantity, the amount. If you're discounting at all, you can put the discount percentage in your account code and zero will learn this as you go along. So if you've only got one sales code, then generally it will learn very, very quickly that it will be sales. And as you see, it's just pre-populated. If you've got a few, it will learn as you go and which ones you select. Um, and it will start to learn the correlation between what you put in here and the account code. Your tax rate, um, if you're VAT registered as standard, it will pop it in as 20% VAT on income. If you're not VAT registered and you've got it set up correctly, it'll automatically be no VAT. Um, it will then add the VAT on and you can quickly approve the invoice. And then you can email it out to your customer. As I said here, if you haven't already put the email address in, you can pop it in here and you can add multiple email addresses as required. And the message is pre-populated from your settings. And then you can send that out. And then what will happen is in the invoices section, you can see all of your invoices here. So draft is pretty much what it says on the tin. It is those that you've drafted but not yet sent or approved because they're not finished. You can have a multi-step approval process. So say you're drafting or you're raising the invoices and the manager needs to um, approve them. You can, when you save it, instead of just doing approve, you can save it as um, save it as awaiting approval. And then a manager can come in, check it over and approve it. Once it's approved, it will sit in waiting payment. And these are all your outstanding invoices, what's due um, and waiting to be paid. So it will have in here your due date, the date was raised, how many days is overdue. You can sort on many different things, whatever helps you and helps you to organise best. Um, so it could be alphabetical, you want to sort on the due date or the raise date. You can also sort on the, on these, whether it's been paid or due, and you'll be able to see then if there's a part payment as well. Like in this case, this invoice has been part paid, leaving the balance there. Um, very handy feature is you've got this sent. So once you've actually sent it out, an email, it will pop up a sent. So as you remember, we didn't actually press send. So if I come back in now and press send, you get the successful 
notification. But if we come back to invoices, you can see now it's been sent. So that just shows you that um, you have actually sent the invoice to your customer. So therefore, they should have received it and can pay it. But obviously, all these ones that haven't been sent, how can they pay it if you don't send it? So it's just a little reminder to go back and send it. Then once they've been paid, um, you can even mark them as paid manually by going into one and popping the details down here, or you can do it via the bank rec. Either way, once they're marked as paid, they'll come into here, um, all your paid invoices. So this is a really easy way of seeing what's overdue so you can chase it if it's actually been sent. And if you've got the online invoices turned on, if they've looked at it online and they've actually viewed it, you'll be able to see here because it was so little viewed. Um, and what you'll be able to do is at the bottom in this history and notes section here, it will say when it has been viewed. So no more, I haven't got that email or haven't got that invoice because you can go on and you can see that they've viewed it, which is really, really handy when you're doing some credit control. So I hope that helps um, with an overview of your standard sales invoices.